hello guys welcome once again till now we have seen how to make a login application with your c sharp and mysql database and how to create a new form when you login and how to open a new form so when you open a new form I just want to sh be able to save the data for the employee. So in this video we will learn how to save the data from your C sharp application to the MySQL database. So for example if you open the MySQL database I have here database called database and I have a table called employee ID and in that I have the columns like employee ID name surname age and I want to enter new data into this database with the help of my C sharp application so how uh, can I do that I will show you right now so first of all if you are following this video till last video this form was empty I have added four labels from my toolbox so drag these kind of labels and just change the text for these labels from here this text just change it and I will delete this so this is the four labels I have taken and I have taken the four text boxes from my toolbox so just drag and drop four text boxes and place, it, place them like this and take a button from your toolbox and place it like this and change the text as save now for the text boxes I have changed the name of these text boxes so let's see if you go to the top and go to the name I change the name of the first text box as EID underscore text this will indicate the employee ID text text box variable name so this is the name of your text box variable which will we will use in the code in the same way for the first name I have provided for the first name toolbox text box sorry for the first name text box I have provided the name name underscore text for the last name I have provided the name surname underscore text and for the age text box I have provided the name age underscore text txt okay so just change the name according to your convenience and just remember those names now when you are done with this assembly then just select the save button and double click it and you will go to the code of that button click event so on the top of your form just wherever you are using system windows dot form these utilities are there you need to declare once again because this is a new form last time in the first form also we have declared this using mysql dot data dot mysql client so just declare this and once again go to the button double click it and this is the code for saving the new data in the database so I will quickly run through the code declare string 
called constring and just pass these connections which I have already told you in the last videos so you have to write data source is equal to localhost or your port number and then semicolon port is equal to 3306 semicolon username is equal to root semicolon password is equal to root okay and now we will declare a second variable string called query so in this variable string we will pass our query for inserting the data so if you know the mysql querying you know how to insert the data in the database by query in mysql so just write first of all these double quotes and in the double quotes write insert into database dot e data so this is my database name and this is my table name database dot e data in the bracket the columns in which you need to insert your data so I want to insert data into employee ID name surname and age column these four column I want to insert data in so just in the bracket write employee ID comma names comma surname comma age and then give a space and then write values and make a bracket here bracket and give a single quote and double quote and this plus sign and then write this dot eid underscore text if you remember I have named my this text box name as eid text so this dot eid text dot text plus double quote and single quote so this is one variable we are passing from the text box of employee id comma single quote same as that single quote and double quote and plus and in between pass this dot name dot text so this name text is is the second text box name okay and then write comma single quote double quote plus this dot surname text which is your surname text box name dot text plus quote and just complete the quotes comma once again single quote double quote plus this time we are going to pass age so this dot age text box name dot text and plus and double quote single quote and this is the bracket for the values so close it give this semicolon and then give this double quote to complete the text and this is the quote for the string completion so write this okay so this is the query to insert the data into the database so we have provided in sequence employee id name surname and age text boxes data into our this column employee id name surname in sequence so one first is employee id here is also employee id second is name here is also name and surname here is also surname and age and here is also age then in the third line write mysql connection con database this is the mysql connection database name connection name sorry is equal to new mysql connection and just pass this con string here then write mysql command cmd database this is my variable name is equal to new 
mysql command and i will pass this query here comma con database this one i will pass it here and then we will declare a mysql data reader variable so write mysql data reader my reader and then we will make a try and catch block so if some exceptions are there in our connection then it will catch the error so write try bracket and here bracket close catch exception ex and in the bracket of catch write message dot show ex dot message which is this ex dot message and in here in the try block write this code so copy your this mysql command variable dot open bracket and bracket closed then copy this my sql data reader variable is equal to command database variable this one copy this dot execute reader and if the data is successfully inserted into the database then we will show message dot show data is saved so this is just to confirm that our data is really saved and make a while loop and in the bracket write my reader dot read so this one is this variable dot read bracket in bracket close and just leave your while loop empty this is doing nothing okay so this is the code for your saving the data into the database and now when I run my program this is the login frame so I will just go to the second form and in here before that we will see the data in the database till now I have nine employee IDs in my database I will add the tenth employee IDs so I will refresh this no more employee IDs is present so I will add a tenth employee ID tenth his name is Mark and last name and his age is 34 for example and when I press this save button you see my the message comes that data is saved I will click OK and I will go to check in my database if the data if the data is really inserted into the database so I will refresh my data and you can see new data is saved into my database by using C sharp application so in this way you can save the data into the database I hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now